Hey there, this is Andrew, and uh, I'm going to be doing my Week 2 match against Scurzio here for NKFL Season 23 uh, Diamond. Um, I'll just give you a quick heads up. I'm probably not going to be on screen and talking as much because I need to fit in a lunch. But um, here we go. So, uh, okay, his first deck is this Jawiz Observator Rinstoka. Um, so AOA, obviously double time traveler is pretty interesting. Interdimensional graft, key abduction, hypnobeam, glixel proliferator, Mars first. So no, nothing in Mars to give the draw, but interesting stuff in those. And a, two binate ruptures to go with the IG, so that's interesting, along with a helper bot. And two bronze key imp. So I think he, I guess he would be really setting up for a boost that cost for key one and try to try to force him to having too much and then brig, which could be brutal. Um, and then I guess end with a key abduction. Okay, <clears throat> looter user Pador Jeziora, uh, Coda. We've got time traveler. Three Dust Pixies, two Hunting Witches, Key Charge. So this is a fast coda. And then Brobnar just seems okay. The logo seems fast, though. Okay. Uh, Uther, Lasic, Jabakar, Zamku. Two Ultra Grav from Mass Mutation. That's interesting. Subject Kirby, two Bonithings. Finishing glow, so that's yeah, set up and then do crazy stuff. Okay. You Perzona and interesting. I don't see any artifact control so far. No artifact control in any of these decks. Okay, good to know. Um you Perzona, Aurelia Z Ochati. This is a Worlds Collide deck. Val, Spartasaur, those are interesting. Uh any Worlds Collide Dinosaur Games. There's Ludo. Mm, nothing else crazy there. We've got Infernus. Transporter Platform. But nothing crazy. Okay. Okay. Let's see this. Mass Mutation. Ultra Grav. Umberbot. Xenobot. Okay. Entropic Swirl. Uh, Maleficorn, Histrocog, Furnace, Dark Amber, Dav. So, so this is a in ten mutants total. So this is a Dav deck, and looks like a decent one. Three Mind Fires, don't like that. Okay, and then Imperators, Big New, uh, Tigress, Rotman, Worlds Collide, Dinos again. Three Ronnies, Kaimor. Okay, four Stealth Modes, don't like that. Um. Two tributes and six semper. I mean, it seems like these two are the real threats. I, I this one's scary. This AOA one's scary, but I think I do think that uh, these these two are the big threats. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> four stealth modes, four runnies. With good board control, I probably can beat that out. I have good artifact control, so I could steal the the dab maybe. Let me. I think I ban Imperator first. And it feels bad because this is. Oh, I'm just doing the sass, but let's try this. Um, he already banned Warthog. Interesting. Okay. So I said. He doesn't have any artifact control. I think that makes Cade one pretty good to safe. And then uh, then we'll see. Um, well, yeah, we'll see what he safes.
I might play Cadewin first here. Just get that out of the way. I think it's a good play against any of these. Notice no Winds of Exchange and no Grim Reminders here. No Dark Tidings either, so only the first four sets are presented in his lineup. Okay, so he saved Adrian. Okay, which means I have to go down into these. And what did he bring? What did he? Oh yeah. So let's see. Jawas. I don't like Jawas. Could be crazy. Otherwise, this double Ultra Grav actually seems. I really don't like that. It's a tough call. But that's going to be so consistent. Let's do that. That's uh, Uther. Okay. Uther. We'll ban that. And then wait and see what he banned for me. All right, so he banned Pacifica. Okay, I'll take that. Um, and yeah, game one is going to be, I'm going to run Cade one. Get it out of the way. Um, so let's go here. Wow, nice to see four games going on. That's great. Uh, time limit, perfect. And, hmm, all right, here we go. So this is that Coda deck that's it's just going to be very rushy here. Now I don't like that against this setup. I think this is probably a, this is not a great matchup for me. We'll see though. We'll see how it goes. That's a pretty good hand to start with. Sloppy lab work, archive something, discards cooperative hunting. Okay, he's trying to get to the good stuff. And so am I. Get the autoencoder out early. Next turn, I can potentially discard two cards. It's a pretty good setup. 
Um, wow, Smith burned. That's good for me. <clears throat> Fangtooth really is <laughs> not going to have anything to eat this time, I think. Now's a good time to make sure there's not a Dysenia that I missed. Not the ideal archives here. I may leave it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so this is building a nice archive, so it's going to help me going forward. Um, I probably get a steal off this Nero Siphon, and I do probably pop my archives to go Logos this time around. <laughs> this game is strange. Yes, indeed. Uh, now's a really good time for Eclectic. Um, Letho will actually flip my debt guaranteed to Letho's, so that's kind of interesting. Let's do the Eclectic. Um, got the one Logos card, so might as well discard the Academy training here. Um... This Letho is going to flip my deck, or di discard the rest of my deck. Then I can draw one with Cumex, and then use another Letho, which gets me another Letho. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, this is going to kill my Cumex, which would mean I can't leave the Novu Dynamo out, but I think it's still right. Another Eclectic. <clears throat> Diametric charge. He does have IG. No, no IG. Burn the stockpile, but that's going to hit either way at this point. So, and at this point, oddly, I discard the Novu because it would just die. And it leaves me with seven cards in archives. That's pretty good. And 12 amber. Which I don't think he has a lot he can do anything about. And yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad Brumner turn. Um, so my ideal case here is actually to get to the point where I can I really want to be able to burst to 12 next turn. So can I do it? Mark of Disc gets me one. Shadow of Disc gets me one. So I have six. So I need six more. Two. That gets me to three. So that won't do it. Hmm. Is it worth going Logos again? This is tough. This is actually a really tough situation to consider. Um, Shadow of Disc does protect me a little bit, but I actually think... Ugh, I'm almost better off just getting more Archives and one Amber Pip and then take a Disc setup turn.
hate to do that. I really hate to discard the key frog, but it's the correct move in this situation. <clears throat> Does Resurgence do anything good for me? What does it get me back? Anything that I can use this turn? I mean, Infernus is good. Getting back in Furnace is pretty good. Okay. So let's discard Savage Clash. Double check what's in here. Two Dark Minions. Yeah. I do think I want that in Furnace. Okay. Funny enough, because that um, it means... I'm not going to have, well, I'm less likely to end up with Key Frog back in my hand right now. Oh well, yeah, I won't. Hmm, that's okay, though. <laughs> ah, burn the sock, but okay, that's a nice move on his part. Unfortunately, he got a creature out, which is bad news for him. It means I can mark of dis to push him back into Logos. Definitely want to get rid of this Dust Pixie, and then I think the other card that's good to get rid of would either be Time Traveler or Burn the Stockpile. Um, hmm, I think I'm actually going to say Time Traveler, because he could have help from Future Self here. Oh no, I don't want to burn... Ah, I was a little too hasty. Maybe I don't want to burn the Dust Pixie. I just want to burn the Time Traveler... And maybe Smith. Okay. Now, I did actually draw, which means that if I discard this last Dark Minion, it's going to be better for me. Now, that's going to kill the Dark Minion. Reap with the Drekker to steal one. That puts me at six discard this dark minion and then shadow of dis leave that last make sure he sees it and then fangtooth will kill his ganymede uh <clears throat> and so he has to go into logos and doesn't have good uh prospects here okay that's really good wasted turn i like that now i have a really good logo set up so uh, Neurosiphon's not going to fire, but I can Academy Training the Drekker, which is nice. So let's do that. Logos. Um, Eclectic. Neurosiphon. Academy Training on the Drekker and Reap. Um, Qmex, which is going to die with the Fangtooth, which sets up my Novu. For sure. I uh, don't need Kurzap, so discard that. And I don't need Munchling. Let's discard that. So, did that put Keyfrog in our archives? Yeah, it did. <clears throat> so that's put, that puts me at 5, which is not check. But I can definitely discard that Qmex to go to 6 if the Novu is still alive. Um, otherwise, I will... Um, I can get one, two, I can get two, maybe even five, I could get up to five amber, six, seven, I can get up to seven amber in untamed, and then key frog out, so that seems good. Let's do that.
Aw, oh, he did kill a bunch of my stuff, which is annoying. But I can still key frog out, so I could I could mark of dis out too. Key cost is let me just double check key cost. Six. Okay. So then we'll do Song of the Wild. Ghost Hawk. Um, and I'm being a little overly thorough here, but I just don't like to take chances on I've misread something. Yeah, GG, well played. Not how I expected that to go, actually. So that was Looter. Get rid of that. Um, three to one. That is really not how I thought that would go. Ouch. So, um, all right. So, what does he have left? I don't like that. I think maybe he goes that, and I think if he does, he only has the two artifacts, but they're both really good artifacts. I think I want to go Iapo. <clears throat> Iapo, Nick, and Beth. I love them all so much and I can't play all three. Um, are there any decks I'm sad if I play Iapo? Auto Legionary Transporter Platform. Ah, uh, that could be okay. Lucky Dice Safe House also really hurts him. This would be the one. If I play uh, if I play Iapo against this, I'm probably sad. Okay, well, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Iapo. And what did he pick? Adrian. All right, uh, that was what I thought he might. Okay. Um... There we go. All right, good luck and have fun. Or me thy knife chip and shatter, which is it? Who knows? Okay, this is a, you know, it's uh, it's not Zenzi in the opening hand, but it's good. I like this. Keep. Shadows. Did he keep? I think he kept two. Okay. That's not a great opening turn, but this next turn will be pretty great. Oh, and there it is. Oh, he discarded Barrow. That's so sad. Well, I have Poltergeist coming. <laughs> All right. Um, Lugos. Do I kill the Francis? I think I do. I don't really care about him very much. For two Amber, play Munchling, play Discombobulator on the group Think Tank, and there we go.
Okay, so this seems like an important decision actually. I can go into logos and deal with that. I can go into dis and deal with this. Or I can go shadows and I can come back and deal with this later. He might purge my group think tank or something else good, but I think it's still worth just getting the card draw here. And there's no creatures that I'm that worried about getting purged. So yeah, he actually, oh, that, well, that, that was bad. <laughs> Hubris. I got mine fired. That is rough. Um, I think I lost. <laughs> He should have probably purged Gateway there. Um, but who am I? I mean, I'm losing, so why would you listen to me? He kills his own Ultra Grav. Interesting. That's not what I expected. Um, let's get some card draw. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. I see Gateway would have been so nice there. But no. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I do think that killing Maleficorn is good here. Ugh. Yeah, that dav so messed up. <clears throat> That's so crazy. Alright. But I still have my Zenzi. That's good. What do I kill? Let's kill... I don't want to give him an amber. Let's kill the Umberbot. Let's kill his Dav. Let's protect the Zenzi. Alright. Well, that's... That's more than nothing. I really wish the Mindfire were a gateway. <laughs> Where'd that go? Yeah, and it's tough. Borrow and Gateway are my two answers to his setup, right? And he hit both those. 
That is how it goes. Um, can I do better than just dying here? I mean, ugh. Yeah. It's coming, doesn't matter. None of this matters. Okay. Steal one. I mean, again, I, at this point, I'm really like, how do I get a key? <clears throat> because yeah, it's too well set up. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Come on, really? Is there any chance? Nope. All right. Yeah. Um, well, I, I picked wrong. I picked wrong. I thought that was going to go better. But granted, if I had, if I had kept the borrow, it would have been amazing. Um, so there's that, and then what do we pick? Um, Nick or Beth against, oh wait, Uther's gone, so Nick or Beth against, <clears throat> these. Nick. It's Nick. All right. Um, here we go. Because I think Brio, I think Brio can clutch this if, if it hits. Persona. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I is that a keep? That's tough. I'll keep. Bromnar. Transporter. Can he do? I mean, if he gets the Morpheus out, I guess he can do interesting things. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Mars. Let's hit that for two. Get back the Earthshaker. Put out the Memorox. Oh, he chained me. Okay. Uh, what can you do in Mars? Okay. Interesting. I don't steal, so I don't really care about that stuff. Let's see. Mars. Not going to worry about my archives. Going to action for two. Put out the outpost. Okay. Right. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, wow. Did 
not purge what I would have thought. Okay. Um, let's see. Unfathomable. Nope. Um, what did I get? Scoop up. That's fine. We'll just pop these wards. Got rid of the last of those chains. Next turn we have a nice Brobnar setup. <clears throat> okay. Yep, he's going to Infernus my dude. Okay, well, that makes it interesting. Gets a lot of amber, so now it's a race. All right. Brobnar. Um, do I take my archives? No. I think I don't. Okay. So we're going to reap here. Do that. That. And there we go. That's not bad. Um, it would be nice to go fish next turn. Okay. Kills Harmal. Okay. Can I do enough good stuff with fish to protect the Bryo? I think the answer is no, so I actually am going to go Mars. Not going to take archives. Let's put propaganda on here. Ah, I did that wrong. Okay. Oh, well. I'm a dummy. Feats. Nobody cares. Um, put that under. Terrific. And Waymare. Um... We can kill Transporter and Auto Legionary and then scoop up the Feats and the Pterodactyl and then scoop up Nice. The, how about the Waymare and The Ludo. <clears throat> and now we have a pretty sweet fish turn coming next. And it really is a tempo game at this point because I do not have stops. So if I can, if I can stop him, if I can just get a key ahead, then I'm good. Otherwise, I'm bad. Um, question, how much of that stuff do I want to not give him? Um, I actually think... Other than the buzzle, that's a pretty good setup. So, let's do it. Let's do Waymare. Let's get these all back. Um, so, let's do a Bizzle site first. Um, yeah, see, nothing for the buzzle to eat. We can get rid of some of these cards to protect. Um, we'll be fuddle into star actually. <coughs> um, yeah, 
yeah, let's actually just do that befuddle into star. Um, um, okay, so befuddle for star, and then allusions is going to name. Um, I'm going to say, please go Sarian. True facts. <clears throat> I mean, that's a that's a pretty good. Uh, it's pretty tough. So the befuddle is basically a skip turn. He could go a different house and discard. Um, and if he goes into Sarian and discards, great. Uh, but I, I think he would like to go into Dis and Discard to set up for a five-card Sarian turn and then draw. I also know he's gonna get he's gonna get back that Retor, but other than that, he's not getting a lot of good stuff here. It's unfortunate to get the fresh marks in this circumstance because those those actually don't help me very much. Okay, so he does go Sarian. Is he gonna discard? That's the question. I think I end up having to discard the fresh marks, which is sad. Oh, he does do it. Okay. So now he's going to, he could go dis, but he's not going to have a lot of good stuff there. Okay. So I actually can afford to do, the, to play the fresh marks. Let's do Earthshaker. Shock Herder, get a Reap. Play Feats. We'll do a fresh marks on the shock herder at least. <clears throat> do I do more than that? Boy, I wish I had that Kamalani out. <sighs> I know he can only play two actions. So I think I just do this. Wait, do I need the Earthshaker out? If I draw, no, if I draw Hebe, I'm good. So I actually think I'm good here. Okay, now I have two cards that I could tokenize pretty easily and just cycle a lot. That would actually be pretty good. Bravnar isn't doing me much good here. So let's do that, and then he can go star if he wants, but is going to be stuck. Or I could go Bravnar. I just, if I, I wish I'd drawn that shock herder. That's sad that I didn't. Okay, let's do this. Mars. Um, let's play Memorox. We'll do Space Invaders. And then, um, We can put Hebe the Huge back. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a nice Brobner setup. <sighs> so I know he's got to have... Oh no, he discarded the Red Tor Gallon. Okay. So he does not have stops, does he? Rock Grub. Tribute. Nope, that's gone. Okay. Oh, Spartasaurus. All right. Cool. Okay, I think I do Hebe, Fresh Marks, and then Earthshaker, because that's going to kill everything. Robnar, Hebe, okay. Blood of Titans, Fresh Marks. Oh yeah, I can actually pound to destroy everything, and then Earthshaker. And I think that he's unlikely to have a stop. <clears throat> it's not impossible, but I think it's unlikely. And I think he's even more unlikely to have a stop that lets him get to check, which is nice. Oh wow, he probably gets to play his whole hand here. Uh, GG well played. Wow. That was great. Okay. Um, whew, two keys. So it's actually, we're even on keys. it folks um, that was a great match even on keys Scurzio, and um, thanks for playing, and good luck. Uh, if you're watching, thanks thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Maybe learn something. Let me know what I did wrong, and uh, get out there and forge some keys.